by an extreme edition chip. Um, basically, we're going to run it up on nitrogen, all of it, and see what we can achieve. <coughs> but first of all, I've got some uh, various bits down. Uh, a lot of activity going on. Now this is um, what we saw before was partly extreme. This is the realms of extreme. Uh, you cannot get any more extreme than this. You know, three smoking pots, tech cooler, fan to keep the uh, uh, power regulators cool on the cards. Uh, it's just water cooling for the tech. It, there's everything going on. And it's, it's just a mass of cables. And a separate power supply purely for the graphics card yeah. line. Basically, because um, we're going to be pushing the envelope, uh, we've got the Corsair, as I said before, HX1000, which is going to be running the system, and a hard drive. But I've got the uh, TX850 from Corsair running just solely the graphics cards and the tech cooler. And the reason I do that is we get voltage fluctuations. Yeah, they could be from lights, from compressors, from the vending machines. And for one system, you know, I'm going to be putting close on a thousand watts or even a, over a thousand watts um, with this system clocked. With any ripples that are going around, that has a knock on effect to power supply. Any, any current draw puts a great strain on it. You know, if the processor suddenly freaks out and says, as we saw on Steve's scope, you know, oh, a spike. That has effect then on the cards. By using a separate power supply, for well then we're keeping it totally separate, more stable. 